and collectibles. That's right, and in today's video, we got these awesome Marvel animated statues from Gentle Giant. Fine Tip Creative Studio. We got Star Lord, Vision, Magneto, Thor, Spider Gwen, The Punisher, Squirrel Girl, Daredevil, and Elektra. As you can see, we got a lot of figures, so the plan is gonna be to unbox these five in this video. And then these four in the next one. So quick background information if you're not familiar with these figures. They're actually based on illustrations by Scotty Young. Scotty Young is an American comic book artist and writer and the first time we came across his work was at a comic book convention. So here is the first comic book that we found of his and it is I Hate Fairyland part two. And we bought this a couple years back at like a comic store. It's got like really like bloody and gruesome. Right, and the illustrations were really cool. And from that comic, we ended up looking him up online and found his Marvel babies. Little Avenger stories. They don't like to call them babies. We'll show you some pictures here so you can see his style with these little Avengers. We got this awesome mashup here with some heroes and villains. We've also got this cool image. You got the little Avengers working together to get the cookies from the refrigerator. Another awesome cover, Guardians team up, and a fun image of Deadpool, as well as another mashup with some really cool little Avengers. So let's go ahead and start this unboxing. Which one do you want to start with? Uh, I see you start out with Spider Gwen. Awesome. All the boxes look about the same. You got the Spider Gwen box here, Marvel animated statue. It shows you a picture of him from a few different angles. And what's cool is on the back, you also get like a cool dramatic shot with a cool background. Um, let's go ahead and open it up. Here she is, out of the box. And as a side note, they all come with these little cards. They're the Certificate of Authenticity. These are all limited editions and this one here is number 1239 out of 3500. On the bottom here, you've also got the logo for the series as well as a limited edition number. These figures are actually pretty small in size. If we measure her, she measures about three and a half inches. You can see the sculpt on this is really minimal. There's not a whole lot of details in the body. I like how they did it so the yo-yo is using actual thread. And they have this cool design on the inside with the spider webs. It's a cute little Spider Gwen statue. I like how little and compact they feel. Sure, it does look like a little toddler Spider Gwen. She's got this big head, a real minimal paint job and sculpt. Overall, this is a great figure. Now let's move on to the next one. All right, next up, let's do Thor. Thor? So as you can see here, it also comes with your certificate of authenticity. This one here is number 710 out of 3,000. Oh, oh, am I gonna kill him? No. Oh. Awesome. And he kind of looks like he's flying. Yeah. Or at least like he's trying to fly with one foot. He measures a little bit bigger. To the top of his cape, he's about five inches tall. He's got a little more details in him. You can see here, he's got this hammer. I especially like how uh, for his hair, he has this kind of line work on it to give it that Scotty Young karmic feel, as well as how cool it is, how he does the faces and how they look, they actually look like babies, how they have those like chubby cheeks and like the little nose and like the eyes. I like how that cape is just kind of flying back in the wind. You can see all the curves, it really has that movement to it. And he's got that silly expression on his face. One eye is bigger than the other. There's some nice line work in it. You can tell these are hand painted. I like how he's got his big hammer in one hand and the other hand just kind of makes it look like he's flying through the sky. He kind of has that pose that we see when he's swinging his hammer around and he's getting ready to take off. One foot is kind of lifted off the ground and he looks like he's getting ready to jump into motion. I especially like how he has a little helmet piece where it has a little propeller and the wings which is really cute. That one's awesome. Yeah, this one's really cool. Now let's move on to the next one. Star Lord next. Ooh. This one is 1,451. Out of 3,000. And here he is out of the box. This one's really cool. If you guys don't know, we're huge Guardians of the Galaxy fans. And I love this art style. And this figure hat is everything and more. I like how they use the painting and the hair to kind of make it look cartoony. So well, how they use this like really cool silver to give it that like chrome look. His cape's cool, how it's in the wind. Looks like he's running by and shooting like enemies. This one's really cool. He's got a ton of movement. It looks like he's running by and he's got his arm reached out like he's blasting. His foot's turned up in the air, his knees bent. 
It looks awesome. Even that cape is like, it's almost like there's a draft coming out from underneath him. <laughs> He's got some really cool details in his mask and his helmet. I like how they use like a shiny red paint for the eyes with some white dots in it to kind of give the illusion of like how his uh, mask looks in the movies, which is really cool. And I like the details even in the hand. You can see all the separation in the fingers, hands gripping the blaster. There's a lot of nice details in the pants and the jacket, the different breaks, different colors. Really cool piece. This might might be my favorite piece so far. It is my favorite piece so far. Star Lord? Mm -hmm. This one looks awesome. I can't wait to put these on our little Marvel shelf. It's gonna look great. Yeah. All right, let's move on to the next one. Vision, Vision next? Yep. Yeah. I'll let you open Vision. So I have a newfound appreciation for Vision because of WandaVision. Nice. This one has a limited edition card with it being 3,952 out of 4,000. 4, they made 4,000 of this Vision one. And something and cool and unique about this one is how he is. It's because for this one, they made it so he kind of like floats. So you can see coming out of the back of him, you got this clear rod that plugs into the base. And he looks awesome. He just, he has that kind of godlike. He's just floating, <laughs> levitating right there. Put that on, Jesus Candle. <laughs> <laughs> This would be an awesome Jesus candle. <laughs> I'm not playing with them. Put that on a Jesus candle. We should make our own line of Marvel Jesus candles. <laughs> um, he's really cool looking though. He's more on the simple side in terms of his sculpt. He's got this real simple body, four fingers on each hand. There's very little line work in his costume. You can see the different paint colors with the green, the red, light green, and yellow. But the face is really cool. I like the face sculpt on him. I'm really liking this one because it one reminds me of like Austin Vision War for Halloween in WandaVision. And this one's really simplistic, but I love his face, how he's kind of like confused. And also the fact that he's levitating and how he uses black to kind of give it shadowing. And this is overall really simple, but probably another one of my favorites. Right, and even the cape has some real subtle folds in it. This one's awesome. He's got his little teeth kind of showing through. I like the sculpt in the head. I love this Scotty Young style. Let's put this one right here. And, and last we'll one. move on to the last one. Last but not least, we have... Magneto. This one here, they made a limited edition of 3,000, and we got number 2,371. Ooh! This one's really cool. So they use this, like, shiny top coat to really give his helmet, like, that pop and look like metal. Nice. And then they also use it for his eyes. He kind of reminds me of, like, Galactus. Really cool. I like how he's kind of got that possessed look in his eyes. They're also like that bright pink color. He's got a really simple body, but he's got that cool necklace on, which kind of makes him a little more dynamic. And then he's got his hands outstretched, looks really cool. He's got five fingers on each hand, nice details in the fingers. And I love the way he kind of is pointing out with his hands and then he's got the cape swooshing behind him. You can see that the tips of the cape kind of fold up and curl. Really cool details in the cape. This one's like really screams baby to me. Maybe it's because of the body or the way his cheeks are, but this one's really cool and just like probably the best one if you're under the baby topic. I love them. I mean, there's not a ton of detail in them, but I think that's what's so appealing about them. They got this really childlike style and the sculpt on it works perfectly because it really does feel like a little baby in his jammies. So which one is your favorite? From these five, I'm gonna say my favorite is probably, it's tough. It's either gonna be one of these three. Um, well, I'm, I'm gonna say that Star-Lord's my favorite. Well, if you're going with Star-Lord, then I'm gonna go with, I'm probably gonna go with Magneto for this one, just because of how baby-like he looks. Let us know which one's your favorite down in the comment section below. If you're not familiar with Scotty Young and his illustration style, go check him out. He's got these really cool Marvel babies that we're unboxing here. They don't like to call them babies. A lot of really cool covers, but he's also got all kinds of other comics. He's done some Wizard of Oz stuff. He's got the I Hate Fairyland cover that we showed you and a bunch of other cool comics. And he's done other different Marvel stuff as well. So there you have our unboxing of these really cool Marvel animated statues from Gentle Giant. If you wanna add any of these figures to your collection, as always, check for links in our description. And if you guys like the statues we showed at the beginning of the video, such as The Punisher and Daredevil, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned because we'll be uploading that video soon. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. Find Tip Creative Studio.